Curtis. Today I'm going to show you how to draw and color on a mirror. Now, typically bathrooms have really large mirrors. Um, sometimes bedrooms will have these full length mirrors. Our house is really old. So we have one that's in a closet and the front door of a closet. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to add inspirational messages or pictures to these mirrors using puppy paint. So the only material you need for this is some sort of puppy paint that you can get at a craft store. Um, I have a whole bunch of this um, that I found last summer. Um, any color, any type will do. It'll dry right on the mirror and when you wanna take it off, you can just peel it right off and it won't leave anything behind. So your parents should be okay with this one. All right, let's get started. Okay, so I've made sure that all of my puppy paints are working. I've taken the caps off of all of them and I'm going to start decorating the mirror. Now you don't wanna put a ton of paint when you're decorating um, because you don't want it to be drippy. Um, it's a th Puppy paint is a 3D paint, but it still works like paint, so you can mix the colors if you don't have enough colors, um, but it can also get drippy, so you just got to be careful about how much you use. Something else that's important to have nearby while you're doing this is some paper towel or a washcloth. Now, you don't want to use a washcloth that your mom will get mad that it's ruined, so make sure it's more like a rag. See, so right here, I've made a mistake and it's kind of dripping down a little bit. So all I wanna do is grab my paper towel and wipe it off. Puppy paint works a lot like nail polish where it does take a bit of time to dry and once it's dry it's pretty hard and stays in place real well. The only difference about puffy paint is that you can peel it off a surface and it stays in place for the most part. So if you do this on a flat surface it'll work the same. Just make sure it's a really hard plastic um, and it doesn't have a texture to it, a mirror is the perfect surface to use for this. Okay, back to the orange. So what I'm doing here is a rainbow, and then next to it, I'm going to put an inspirational message. And we walk by this every day. This mirror is between our living room and our kitchen and so people can see it every day as they walk by. Um, I used to do this when I was younger in the mirrors of my house. I used to drive my mom crazy doing this. Um, the first time I did it she was really mad because she didn't understand that it would come right off as soon as it dried. Once she saw that it did come off as soon as it dried, she was um, a lot more okay with it. So you might have to try it out on a flat surface to convince your parents to put these messages in your house. And it looks like my blue is dripping a little bit. So I am going to Wipe that off. Okay. And I will be right back to write the message on the mirror. 
Okay, so I have already started writing down some of the saying and I wrote it all in one color to kind of be consistent. Um, I'm also going to add the words bright and shiny in here as the inspirational message. So it'll say you are a bright shiny light. I have added an exclamation mark with a red heart. Um, I'm using different colors for bright and shiny so that they stand out a little bit. I'm also playing around with using a couple of different fonts. So I did an outline here of a block letter and now I'm going to do capital letters and then I'll do cursive for the next one. So if you mess up, it's totally okay. No one's coming to your house anyways, right? So if it doesn't look exactly like you want it to, it's not that big of a deal. You can also wait till it dries and peel it off and start over, which is also an option. Um, using these puppy paint bottles, sometimes after doing a letter, you want to let the air escape so you don't get any air bubbles and kind of like get the paint down to the top so you don't get air bubbles. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to the next color, which is yellow, my favorite color. I'm gonna go back and get some spots that I missed and then this is all done. Okay, and there we go. There's the inspirational message for our mirror. I can't wait to see what you guys do for your inspirational messages and your fun drawings on your mirror to put a little bright spot in your day every time you go past a mirror or inside your bathroom. Have a great day, artists. Bye.